Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli here. I want to talk to you about the recent Going Ike episode, Branson, Missouri, Bassin. Man, what a fun show. Um, got to fish with a good friend of mine, James Watson, and we actually set up a show to fish for bass and trout. Um, the trout, we didn't catch any, so I don't have to tell you about that. But on the bass side, we really had an outstanding day. Uh, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the bait that really saved the day for us. Um, and the bait was a vibrating jig. And you know, if you look at vibrating jigs, that's a Mullix Lover in black and blue, and that's a traditional bladed jig. They really do a couple things really well. You know, the one is they search extremely well. So both James and I had never fished this lake, so we were really in search mode trying to find key areas. You can cover so much water with that bait. But the thing that it does tremendously well is it goes through cover. And a lot of the fish we caught on this shoot came out of scattered grass cover, milfoil, a little bit of hydro and even some scattered wood throughout the day. And the ability of a vibrating jig to come through the cover and deflect is so key. And you're gonna notice in this show, a lot of the bites come after we make that cast with the vibrating jig, we hit the cover and kill it, or we pull it through that grass and it snatches through. And if you look at the way the blades are set up on these baits or the lip, it'll act as a deflector out of that cover, and when it comes through and deflects and changes direction, it acts as a trigger for those fish. You know, the other key thing in this show I want to talk about is the rod. And, uh, you know, the rod was really key because in fishing a vibrating jig, you want more of a medium action rod. Um, this is the kind of bait, like a spinner bait, where you want to let the fish get it before you set the hook. And in this shoot, I used an Abu Garcia Ike series rod, the seven foot medium action power series rod, and I paired it with a seven to one Revo MGX. But if you look at the tip of this rod, and again, this is the seven foot medium action rod, Ike series rod, it's got a lot of tip. This rod's more like a 70-30. About 30% 30 of this rod is soft. That's gonna allow me to make long, accurate cast. And again, when that fish bites, when I set the hook, there's gonna be a little bit of absorption there before I set the hook on them. Super, super important. So think about the rod, too, when you're fishing these vibrating jigs. Um, let me tell you, I hope you enjoyed the show. We had a blast catching bass, not so much trout, and uh, it was a fun time with James Watson. See you later.